Hello friends, it's Shara. Thanks for stopping by. I am here with gorgeous Lucy. Lucy is the prototype baler or one of the prototype balers by Don McLeod and she was reborn by Tispina Natalia. And she is gorgeous. She has those beautiful eyes and this beautiful red hair. That's why she's named Lucy, because she reminds me of Lucille Ball, one of my all-time favorites. And I will be putting her in this dress that I found I have not put on anyone. And I think with her hair, it will look absolutely gorgeous. It might be a little long because it's a zero to one, but I think it'll be okay. All right. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I did do my Toddler Tuesday video with my pseudo toddlers and I wanted to come on again and do a changing video. She has been in this outfit for much too long because I just really love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, baby girl, let's get it undone. She has had this on for several weeks, haven't you, sweet Lucy? Haven't you, pretty girl? Oh, oh, mama, take it off and put you in a pretty dress. Yes, I will. And you will look so gorgeous. She has a really pretty little bracelet on. Huh, you're just a pretty little girl with your little sideward glance. Yes, you are. This is a little, I wasn't sure if it was mayoral or babadoo, but it's a babadoo. Do you have socks on? No? This fits you just perfect, didn't it? Didn't this just fit you perfect? Oh, there you go. Here you go. My allergy medicine hasn't kicked in yet, so I apologize if I sniffle. All right, we're gonna get this on, pretty girl. All right. So while we're changing Sweet Lucy, I thought I would answer the tag that I think was done by Julie at the Country Cottage. And it's things you may not know about me. So first off, current or former jobs? Well, until I got my degree in the medical field, I had quite a few jobs. I was, you know, I had high school jobs and then I was in the army. I was a legal specialist. And then I worked in loan processing for several years. And after the birth of my third child, I realized it was gonna cost too much money to continue working. It would cost too much for daycare. So I decided to go back to school and it was the best thing I ever did because it led to my dream job working in the school nurse's office at a very large school district. I worked in elementary and middle school. And then that led to me getting my teaching credential. So then I taught high school and, oh, it's not even too long. And then I taught high school and I taught adult school. So that was awesome. So I think that uh, covered that question. And then personal goal for 2022, I want to lose weight. Um, I had the gastric sleeve back in 2014. I lost 110 pounds. Um, I have gained some back and I think part of it was I was in a wheelchair for four months uh, after foot surgery. Uh, I could not put any weight on my foot. And then um, also my son moved in with me and he's a great cook and he eats different foods than I had become accustomed to eating and traveling to New Zealand. I just, I just think I put on some weight. So I want to lose that and more so for my health. It has nothing to do with vanity. I, I just want to make sure that I'm as healthy as I can be. Um, having a stroke at 44 really instills that in you. Oh my gosh, doesn't she look so cute? All right, I'm gonna put these long cream colored socks on her. 
Um, next question, hobbies aside from dolls. I don't have any hobbies other than my grandchildren. Um, as I have stated before, adult coloring and then reborn dolls is my um, real, are my real first hobbies. Um, I just never had time for them before. I, um, these are really big on you. These are first size too. Huh. I think I'm gonna just put her shoes on without socks. This dress is long and I think those socks will look silly. But let's see if these saw if these shoes will even fit you, pretty girl. You have just little tiny feet. Oh, she's gonna stay barefoot. Maybe I'll put some booties. Um, so yeah, I don't have any other hobbies. I don't do adult coloring anymore because my hand has gotten so bad. Favorite relaxing activity? Well, shopping, online shopping. Whether or not I buy anything, I love to look. And that started, that started with the birth of my first grandchild. Birth, trying to get all of the things for him and then just spoiling him. And then it continued on with the following grandchildren. I mean, I would buy them clothes for seasons ahead. Like uh, it would be winter and I would be buying them clothes for spring and summer. I would make sure I got the right sizes. So once COVID hit and I was no longer able to bring things by airplane to them when I would visit, because I was visiting every few months, um, it just was, uh, too expensive. It wasn't financially sound to have them shipped. You know, however much I got them on sale, it just totally negated that with the price of shipping, where I could take an extra bag on an airplane for only $150. I sent them two boxes in the beginning of COVID two huge boxes and it was almost $900 to ship them. So, and they did not weigh anywhere near the $50 that I, or the 50 pounds for a $150 bag on, um, on the airlines. You could take a 50 pound bag for $150. So, and they were pretty set with their clothes and I have sent them some things, but nothing, you know, nothing like I had. And then I discovered Reborns. Well, I started buying a lot of stuff in adult coloring, but then started with Reborns and then that just was great because it was my shopping and then it was baby stuff, which I love to buy for my grandkids. So it just all worked out perfectly. So that is what I do for relaxing. Do I prefer city, country, or remote? Well, I've never lived remote or country. I've lived suburbs, um, but I've never been very far from a city. Um, this is the very first time I've actually lived in the heart of the city. I live in downtown San Diego and I love it. I think it's nice that there's so many things within walking distance. There's a lot of nice transit, um, buses and trolleys, and um, we have the train that goes up the coast and back down for commuters. There's the light rail up in North County. So I, I really do like to have access to a big city. Nationality, well, I'm American, <laughs> but I descend from mostly German and Scottish. My dad was half German, half Scottish. My mom is Heinz 57, so we've got a lot in us. Um, we've got American Indian, we've got probably German and Scottish, French. Um, we, we really don't know when I've never done a, a, one of those um, DNA tests. I, I think it would be really fun. Uh, favorite meal or dessert? Ooh. Um, if I had to pick one absolute favorite meal, um, if it had to be my favorite, I have a lot, but it would be my mom's enchiladas. Um, they're more of an enchilada casserole. Um, they are individually rolled, but they're 
they're more of a of a American version than a Mexican version, which I love those too, but there's just something that I love about my mom's enchiladas. They're made with ground beef. I make them as well, but I'd rather eat my mom's so then I don't have to do the work. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that with some refried beans would be my favorite meal, but um, my favorite cuisine is Mexican food. Um, dessert, probably cheesecake. I think cheesecake would be my, my pick over anything else. Um, I really do like anything hot fudge, like hot fudge sundaes, but I think that, um, cheesecake, plain cheesecake with a nice graham cracker crust, like a New York, New York cheesecake is one of my favorites. I like them very dense. I don't like them very airy. And I don't like them too terribly sweet. I mean, I know they're made with lots of sugar, but I don't prefer them um, sweet. I prefer them more tangy. Um, and the last thing, favorite types of sports or exercise. <laughs> okay. If I had to pick a sport to play, I love golf. Um, unfortunately, after the stroke, I cannot play golf. Not that I had been playing golf very much, um, but um, I do like to play golf. I've never been a big, um, I've never been one to play sports. Um, and I like to walk. Um, that's my form of exercise, walking or yoga. I do chair yoga and um, it's nice. It's nice to stretch and um, I think that if I could tell young people anything, it would be stretch out your body um, while you're young because when you get old, it stiffens up and it hurts. <laughs> and, if you, and if you take care of it when you're young, then you won't have as many problems, I think. Do this one. These ones that tie. This is my little silk and um, puffball handmade handmade um, headbands. I think I think these are two peach. Blue is out. I could do the, I like I like this one. I think this one will look very pretty. All right. I'm gonna put my little suitcase away. can put this in your hair. I'm gonna sit her up in a in an unnatural newborn pose, but I hope you all forgive me so that I can do this properly on her head. How, how do I do this? I need like headband 101 or something. I think I'm just gonna tie it and get it right size and then I'll worry about positioning it properly. She has such gorgeous hair. I like that this is a little simple headband. It's gonna look so pretty. Alright, let's get this. So let's put it to the side. Oh, look. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. I love it. Let's sit you up one more time. 
someone that can put your hair over the gosh her hair is just amazing um natalia Sispina, she has her hair made specially for her her mohair and it is the very best hair i've ever felt and i've had a lot of rooted hair dolls and her hair is just incredible <laughs> i don't know if i got it on there perfect but it sure looks cute um, i don't want to put those socks on there too long so oh i know what i can put I can find them. These aren't the ones that I was thinking, but these will work. These will work because these are small. They're not small enough for you, Missy. They're still baggy. But they're cute. They have a little scalloped edge and the glow. Very cute. There you go. Now you're properly dressed. I will look for those other ones and I'll snap a pic and add them at the end of this video. But I don't want to waste your time looking for them while we're on camera. So that was all of the questions. Current or former job, personal goal for 2022, hobbies aside from dolls, favorite relaxing activity, do you prefer city, country, or remote, nationality, favorite meal or dessert, favorite types of sports or exercise so there we go and little miss lucy looks adorable i love this dress on her so cute she says hi but she is a little aloof aren't you pretty girl you're a little aloof no mommy i'm not aloof no 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 <laughs> all right friends well i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you being here as I change Sweet Lucy and do the tag. And we will talk to you soon. As always, we are sending you wishes of love and light. Take care, friends. Bye. I found them. They're these little cream-colored Mary Jane socks. And I actually got them from Natalia Tespina or Tespina Natalia. I'm not sure if her name is Natalia, but she always lists Suspina first. So, and the socks have little rhinestones, and that matches nice with the mayoral tag. So, little Lucy looks beautiful. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.